deer hunting season is over. Amen. I don't claim to know how the world works, but I do know the difference between a sport and grocery shopping. I have acquired land out here in the country, about 40 acres to put a barn and a pasture full of smug, disrespectful livestock and a moat around the entire thing full of fire so that nobody bothers me and two dragons up at the drive. I'll be one of the dragons. Every time I come back here, there are all these pickup trucks full of very nice young men who have dogs in cages in the back. Now, I know a thing or two about this generation, and so I just thought they were their emotional support animals. They are not. Today, I learned what running dogs means. When my daddy was a deer hunter, he went out and sat in a deer stand, like a legit deer stand, not something that looks like an Airbnb treehouse and not in a heated jacket that has USB ports. He had a bow and arrow, like that takes skill, and maybe that's why he never shot anything but when he hit a deer by accident in his truck we had venison for a week you're gonna hide in camo from an animal that has two brain cells that's just out here looking for a doe probably what you would like to be doing you're not gonna wait for it to come to you you're not gonna have to call it in like it's a turkey no none of that you're gonna deploy a small army of dogs to scare the animal with two brain cells out into a wide open field or onto the road so that you can get a perfectly clear shot that's almost impossible to miss. Who is doing the work here? I'm just not sure that we should call that hunting. I think we should call it cheating. You come from a line of Cro-Magnon men who had to run through the woods naked and tackle the beast and kill it with your bare hands. They need a $500 scope that has enough technology in it to detect a zit on a mosquito's ass. Why not just breed them in your backyard in a fenced-in area and go out occasionally with a cattle gun? As your future president, I am running on the platform that we are going to arm the deer and we are going to give them bunkers and vacuums because everyone knows dogs are afraid of vacuums. We've already got a head start out here as the local crackheads have dropped one off right on my land. And then we shall see who is the better sportsman. My money is on the deer. And get off my lawn.